What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I'm going to be vlogging my through hike, what gear I'll be using, how I'm going to edit, what software I'm using, and what the plan is for the frequency of my videos. So this is a super important part, part of my through hike because of course I want to have the memories of my through hike and I also want to take all of you guys along with me on trail. So I've followed a few through hikers in the past and it's just cool to kind of get the experience of being on trail through watching somebody else. And then also it really helped me plan my through hike by watching others and learning from them. So that's kind of my goal for vlogging this journey and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. So first, let's talk about what I'm bringing to film my through hike. So obviously I'm using one of my pieces of gear right now, it's the GoPro Hero 9. I am gonna try to do most of my filming with that, but I also have an iPhone 12 Pro, which is actually in Arkansas. I'm, I got that new phone. I have the iPhone 10 right now, but the iPhone 12 Pro has such a better camera. So I'm excited to bring that on trail and kind of have two different um, cameras to film with. I'm also going to be bringing a tripod. So I'm bringing this ultra pod. It's the small one. It's got this little Velcro. So I usually take this on my backpacking trips. It works pretty good. I've been kind of throwing around the idea of taking my tripod that I'm using right now to film this video, but it is a lot heavier. It's almost a pound and this thing is only a few ounces. So we'll see about that. So for GoPros, if you've ever owned one, you know that the battery life sucks. <laughs> and so I am bringing two extra GoPro batteries and I actually just bought this. It's a Telesen GoPro battery charger. And so all the batteries are in this little box. I don't even know how to open it because I literally just got this. Oh, here we go. So you see that all my batteries in there, I have four GoPro batteries, so I'll just leave one at home. But that way I won't run out of battery for my GoPro. And what you do is you just take your GoPro cord and connect it to this box and it can charge all the GoPro batteries at once, as opposed to just charging one at a time because I'd have to like plug this into the GoPro. So, I so you can see here, these two are finished charging and then that one needs to go a little bit longer, but it's a pretty cool little, little contraption. And then here hold, can hold my two SD cards that I plan on bringing. Well, one of them will be in my camera, but one of them can hang out right there. Pretty nifty. Plug this into the GoPro. So I got this idea from Wild on the Trail. I know he used his GoPro last year to through to film his through hike. So I'm going to try it and see if it's too much hassle, then I'll just go down to my phone. But that's my plan for now. I'm also planning on getting one of those anchor boxes that has the two different ports. Uh, I think the iPhone 12 has a different end piece. You know how iPhones always be changing the cords. So I'm going to wait to see which one it is and then make the purchase for that. But of course I'll be bringing an iPhone charger and charging cord and then this little charging cord which charges my Anchor battery pack. So this is 28,400 somethings. Uh, this thing lasts a long time. I can charge my phone a couple times, my GoPro a few times. So this is good. And this, I found this one. It They actually don't have the exact one on Amazon still because I, um, I would link it for y'all. But this one's only 15 ounces, which is a lot lighter than I for other battery packs that are like the same power as this. So I like that. I'm glad I have that. Then I'm also bringing two different SD cards. So for um, GoPros, you have to have an SD card to hold all of your data. So I just bought this 400 gigabyte SD drive. The one that's in my camera now is a 256 gigabyte um, SD card. So that segues into my next point I want to talk about is storage. So I don't see this being talked about a lot on Appalachian Trail videos like this. And it took me a while to figure out how am I going to fit all of this stuff on my phone? Because right now I pay $9.99 a month for two terabytes of storage. I've got 20,000 pictures on my phone 
and I think the iPhone 10 that I have right now has got 256 gigabytes of storage. But because I have so many pictures and videos, I don't even have enough room to edit on my phone right now and then upload the video onto YouTube. So I do everything off my computer, but obviously I'm not going to be able to do that on trail. So my plan is with my new iPhone 12, I have 512 gigabytes. So I've doubled my space there and then I'll have the 256 gigabyte SD card and the 400 gigabyte SD card. So I'm planning on moving those 20,000 pictures in onto my hard drive and just having all of that space available. And so um, I'm kind of a, da a data hoarder and I want to be able to keep all of this, the video that I take on trail. Like I don't want to be deleting it. So is that kind of crazy? I mean, probably, but I think with as much storage as I'm bringing, I can actually keep everything that I shoot. So 256 gigabytes plus 400 gigabytes. I have 656 gigabytes of storage on my SD card plus the 512 gigabytes from my phone storage. So that's like 1.16 terabytes of space. And that's a lot, all things considered. But I do want to film in high definition and I am kind of wondering um no, right now I'm shooting everything in 4k but 4k takes up so much space so y'all tell me do you want to see my Appalachian through hike in 4k or are you cool with 1080p or do you just not even care do you have a preference because I think I could do it in 4k I may have to buy another SD card but I mean, if that's something that y'all want, I like shooting in 4K. It looks awesome. But if not, I'll probably just shoot in 1080p so that I have more space. So y'all let me know in the comments what you think I should do about that or like what you want to see. And I will try to make it happen. I also have a basketball game playing over here. And it's a one point game. So we're gonna take a um, intermission so I can watch the rest of this game. I wanted to film now because the lighting is really good, but uh, college basketball is an important part of my life. So quick intermission. All right, and we're back. So next I'm gonna talk about editing. So I'm gonna be editing everything on my iPhone on an app called Kinemaster. Basically, I'm going to transfer the pictures and video, well, the videos from my I, from my GoPro to my phone through the GoPro app, and then edit from there. So I'll have. Do you guys want music in the videos? I do music now, but I can pre-download music onto my phone to add into my YouTube videos. But I know some people kind of just like the raw footage and don't like the music. So let me know what you think about that too. And my plan for editing is just to edit at the end of each day in my tent. So how will I be releasing videos and how many? So I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs. I'm probably gonna keep them anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes every day, just kind of depending on how much footage that I get. Um, I'm going to be uploading the videos whenever I have service. I don't really know what service is like on trail. Um, but if I ever go into town or take a zero day, then I can, you know, <clears throat> upload wherever I get service and Wi-Fi and then just schedule the videos to come out. They'll probably be, you know, a week or a few days behind. But I am going to try to do a video for every day that I'm on trail. Anyway, um, I guess that's all I was going to talk about for that. If you guys have any questions for me about vlogging and how I'm going to do it or anything regarding this and the equipment that I'm using, just let me know. Drop a comment. Uh, send me a DM on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will thank you on Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this Thank you guys for subscribing